Welcome to today's Fast Track episode of The Growth Zone. My name is Christian Bartsch and these episodes provide you with a focused mind-feeding topic. You can use it to have some new ideas to guide you through the day. Let's get started on today's topic. Today's topic we are going to look at how can I increase the value of backlinks using my content strategy in combo with a business analytics tool. So what are backlinks? Backlinks are links that are pointing at your website. So somebody else must have decided that your content is valuable. So they wanted to allow other visitors as well to go and see that content and benefit from it. Now, you must think, why should somebody want to add a link to my website? I have to understand what people are doing, why they're going, what are they searching for? So I need to access different kinds of analytics. There are a variety of tools like SEMrush, HRF, Systrix, and so on that you can use to find out what people are looking for, what actually is driving them to visit my website, and as well, what is driving the people from a particular website to your website based on the backlinks, so that you can better understand why are you getting those backlinks and what do you have to do in order to replicate that decision and get other people to add quality backlinks. Using backlink farms and this other kind of stuff, that's a outdated trick that doesn't really make much sense. You have to have a good quality content, good quality information, and something that is useful and beneficial for the visitor. So business analytics tools. So there are a variety of tools that can either be SaaS applications that are optimized to generate information about what people are looking at. They can access information from Google Analytics and so on and so on. Nevertheless, at the end of the day, you have to consider your own kind of analytics. And find out what is actually driving people to visit your website looking at what competitors are doing and trying to understand what can you do to replicate their success for yourself. Not everything works. That's the thing. If you are in a niche and your competitors are maybe horizontal, then it's the difference between a horizontal business and a vertical business. So you might be targeting a particular niche, let's say dentists. And if the other one is providing a service or system or whatever it is, that is in general for any kind of self-employed business, then they are not really focused. They're focused just on business, but they're not focused on a particular niche like dentists or uh, opticianers or let's say... Um, car repair shops or anything. So you have to think, how can I actually go and build more backlinks? I want to have quality backlinks, so I have to understand what drives people to my website and what Google likes. It's not just a matter about how long the articles are, what content, where you put the keywords and all these things, but as well, when do you publish these sites where do you promote these sites? And how do you get people to become aware that these new articles exist? Because of course, Google will eventually notice it and so on. But the humans who set the backlinks to you, they don't notice. You have to highlight it to them in the right place that matches your target audience. So for instance, if somebody goes and twitters it and his audience isn't on Twitter, it won't actually generate much results. Some people might look at it, but it doesn't match what we need. Hence, 
You need to have a strategy that matches your audience, your niche, and your business. So, how many backlinks are good? How many backlinks do I need? The thing is, you need to have some quality backlinks from websites that have something to do with your own products, with your own services. So, if you're providing a service for car repair shops, and somebody places, or you get people to place backlinks on their websites and they are related to taking care of dogs, it doesn't have to do much with your business. And Google will feel, well, it doesn't really make much sense. Of course, it doesn't say that it's bad for you, but purely trying to do this kind of trickery, if it's not genuine, Google will notice because they see that they collect all sorts of stuff that's obviously artificial and so consider how you can go and improve the quality of your backlinks. You have to improve first, of course, the quality of your own website, your content, your content strategy, your content plans. It's the same thing like having a certain set of topics that you want to talk about. You have to write them down, make your thoughts, and try to put them in a sensible order and schedule them. Don't publish all your blog articles, all your website pages on one day if you're trying to do something that Google starts finding you and likes your content. I hope you enjoyed the Fast Track edition of today. I would like to invite you to follow our show so that you don't miss the upcoming interviews with leaders in the market. Simply visit the website follow.prmediareach.com I will be adding the link also to the description of this episode so that you just need to click on that link. The link is media reach.com follow dot pr media reach.com you can follow me also on twitter by using the twitter handle cap barge so it's spelled c a p b a r t s c h or for those who are into sailing and uh, flying, Charlie, Alpha, Papa, Bravo, Alpha, Romeo, Tango, Sierra, Charlie, Hotel. Yes, that's C-A-P, Barge. See you soon or hear you soon in the next episode. And please share as well this episode if you've enjoyed it and would like to let others have the opportunity to use that as well to get new ideas and insights.